so I make my fiance's top on. But I wanted to make broccoli. I got frozen broccoli because Walmart didn't have the normal broccoli that you get like cold, cold broccoli and cold carrots and just dip it in um ranch. That's what I wanted. But they didn't have any. They were completely out. So I had to get a big bag of frozen broccoli. And I've never did this before. So you guys are gonna go with me. <laughs> We're gonna do this together. But what I'm wanting to do is cut some of these and put some uh, melted cheese over it and like um, eat it that way. So that's what I'm gonna do. Set those there. So I need a cup of water. There's a cup of water. Hang on, give me a second. <laughs> I'm gonna look at my my best friend Jenny sent me instructions, even though the bag gave me instructions, but I need to I'll be back. So I bring my water to a boil and then I add my broccoli and then turn down the heat when I add my broccoli and then um can let it continue to fully cook and then once I think the broccoli is fully cooked take it off and then add my melted cheese and we should be good <laughs> I'm gonna try this I don't understand I feel like one cup of water is a little too less like too not enough water you know what I mean I'm gonna add a half cup of water okay I'm not putting the whole half, but I've added some more water. And we're going to say. <laughs> so once that um, boils, then I will be right back with you. But I wanted to put um, my broccoli in a cup so I know how much I want to use. We're just going to use my drink cup. <laughs> Need some scissors. And I'm gonna have to put this in a Ziploc bag since I don't have anything to close this. Cause I don't want a whole bunch, but I don't want two less. I think one cup should be enough, right? <laughs> Can I eat all that? I hope so. But look. This is what they look like. I've never seen or made eight frozen broccoli. So, first time for everything. That's why I made this channel because I wanted to try everything for the first time and cook with you guys and show you what I do. So, yeah. I'll get back with you when I add it, when it gets down to a boil. Okay, that was quick. It's boiling way quicker than my freaking top ramen. So, what we're gonna do, uh, do that. Okay. I'm gonna want you guys to be able to see it. So we're adding my broccoli. Broccoli. Turn down the heat to two of this. And then stir. See, I don't feel like that's enough um, water. So there's that. <laughs> and then now we just wait, I guess. I mean, I can show you guys how I make ramen too. I just put water in pesto half, almost all the can. And then I take these noodles. Pop ramen, Nissan chicken ones. These ones are the best. Make sure you take the packet, the sauce chicken packets out. I put it on high to, um, boil and then when it when you put the noodles in you um 
put it down to two. This is an old stove, old house, so I don't know how your stove is, but I reduced the heat or whatever, decreased the heat, I decreased the heat, and I put the noodles in. I, he wants two, so I make two packets. I put it in and let that boil, and then usually when it gets really soft, I um, break it up with my cooking spoon and just break it up. Like that one is like broken, broken up. The other one's not so much. But like, if you wanted to make something for your kids, I feel like this would be great. Broccoli, cider broccoli and, um, ooh, that broccoli smells really good. Oh, cider broccoli and um, with cheese or like some kind of seasoning, sauce, whatever, with um, top ramen. Sounds pretty good to me. With uh, mozzarella sticks, put some mozzarella sticks in the air fryer. That's what I'm gonna do for you guys, so I can, because I want to show you guys how I make the um, mozzarella sticks. Because I, you, my fiance showed me how to do the sauce yesterday. I like to use garlic, garlic and herb, I believe it is, um, sauce. So I will show you how I make that as well. And because we have an air fryer right here, and I love it. But make sure you do mozzarella sticks first before you make your sauce because that was a mistake I made yesterday. But it's so delicious. So I'm going to do broccoli because this is lunchtime. He also gets, uh, he wants top ramen. I'm going to get broccoli. I'm going to make me some mozzarella sticks a little bit and with the marinara sauce and show you guys how I do that as well because I cook marinara sauce on the stove because you have to cook it because it has meat in it. So you need to cook it and I just like it hot anyway. And then I put it in an air fryer. So I'm going to show you guys how to cook lunch. <laughs> this is our little light lunch, I guess, thing. <laughs> but broccoli is smelling freaking delicious. Look at that. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells delicious. And I'm just stirring. They still seem a little hard. They're starting to get soft. So, we're on the right track. We on the right track. <laughs> so, I like my broccoli tender. So, they're getting there. But, they still a little hard. Like, a little crunchy hard. So, I'm going to leave them in there a little longer. I mean, I could set a timer in the back. It did say 7 to 8 minutes or 9 minutes. But I just go by uh, my eyes, ear, basically. My taste. My personal taste. So, I, I like mine, like, really soft. Like, very tender. And then, the noodles are basically done. I'll just take one. Cheers. I'm going to test it. And if it's soft and gooey, then it's perfect. But I don't want to be too watery, too gooey. But I don't like to give them raw noodles anyway. So I think these are done. To be almost. Yeah. So these are done. Make sure you turn off the stove. I'm gonna I basically got my little draining bowl. My little draining bowl. And then I just pour the noodles in. this bowl is my favorite bowl my favorite bowl because it makes draining um water so much easier when i work with pasta anything pasta i don't know where you can get it but it's even got little stand things so you can put it on the surface without it actually touching um the countertop or surface or whatever 
which I love because then you're you don't have to worry about noodles touching it. Dirty stuff. Yeah. So there's the noodles. I like to use a big spoon to stir in my sauce and Tabasco sauce. He likes Tabasco sauce. I don't. I just eat it plain. I just eat it plain. I don't know why I put it back there. Do not put it back on that same burner. Because it will burn. to hurry up and stir the chicken in it because otherwise it'll clump up clump together and that's not good so once you dump it in you have to hurry up, hurry up and like stir it in otherwise you won't get any good spread you won't get a good mix all over the noodles <laughs> it in the air. I don't know why it's just easier for me. The little smoke keeps coming in my face and I can't see if it actually covered all the noodles. Stir, stir, stir. And like the way I like to stir is like stir and then I like to fold it in, fold it in, fold it in and stir. Like that's how I like to stir it makes it so much better, so much easier. I'm getting noodles everywhere. So, this is what the noodles are looking like with the chicken, chicken packet, chicken packets mixed in. I couldn't think of what I was saying. And then, Tabasco, Tabasco salts. He likes a lot sometimes, but not too much. Mm. Enough that you can smell it that he likes. As long as you can smell it after you mix it in, then, um, It'll be, it'll be mixed. It's good enough. Potter bowl fork because he likes to eat with a fork. I like to eat with a spoon. I only really eat a fork like for like broccoli or I don't even know what else I eat with a fork for <laughs> meat, I guess. If you use a fork to stir this, it just all, the noodles just smush together, and it's so hard to get it out of the bottom of the pan. So that's why I like using a spoon because you can get it all out better and easier. Just 
So, there's his ramen. <laughs> there's that. And then tomorrow I will do a cooking, a baking video on how I make my family's recipe oh, white cake mix cookies for my fiance, finally for the first time. Cause I told him I was gonna make it back at my home state, but I never did. So we're gonna go back to the store and get some cookies and get what I need for my cookies. And then he's gonna get stuff for sauce cause he's gonna make me broccoli, my broccoli sauce for uh, tomorrow. Go so back to the store and get the broccoli sauce and stuff so um he can make that for me and then i can try it because i never had it with any other sauce or seasoning i've only had it i've only had uh broccoli steamed broccoli with cheese melted cheese that's basically all i've ever had but yeah that would be only at like a restaurant that i've ate it before i've never had it at home or had someone well, I was gonna say, I can't really say I haven't had anyone make it for me, cook it for me. I feel like I have. But I personally never cooked it myself and like ate it. Ate what I made, you know what I mean? So to me, this is new. So tomorrow I'm gonna do uh, cookies. Cookies for tomorrow for you guys. Because I've never done a video on that. And that's crazy to me that I've never done a video on it. Okay, they look... This is what they are looking like and I'm gonna try oh yeah oh yeah mmm as soon as I took a bite I almost melted in my mouth that is perfect very hot but perfect so yeah I'll sh do a cooking video for you guys tomorrow today I've just been making lunch and I will show you my mozzarella sticks once I get the cheese and everything for broccoli. And I'll show you that process as well. Um, this is what my broccoli looking like. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells freaking amazing. It smells amazing. And I'm probably going to take them out of the water and just put it on my in a bowl. Without the water, with the cheese. And I'll show you all that. So, let's do this and then get back to you. So, this is the cheese we use for grilled cheese instead of Velveeta. We don't like Velveeta. Ugh. So, we're using Kilimok medium cheese that is already sliced in, in a reusable bag. So, that means open this and shut it. Open it and shut it and keep it in the fridge and do all that. And I love how we just use sliced. So, what I'm going to do is break it up. I'm going to put it in the microwave for like a minute a minute I don't know I can't remember what my mom told me I called her yesterday and I asked her how do I do that and now I forgot because I'm making it today and I totally forgot and I was gonna call her but I'm like no I'll just um we're maybe we're gonna use two use two I'm just gonna wing it but I can just come home and she always answers and always helps me and I really appreciate it so this is what my broccoli is looking like and I ran out of storage, so I'm back on my Snapchat filming. This is what it looks like. And we're going to see how this tastes. Get some, some cheese. Cheers. Mm. It tastes a little plain. It needs probably some more seasoning, like seasoning of some sort, but I don't know what. I've never cooked this before, but this is pretty good. A little plain, but it's not bad. Cheers. Mmm. 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 So these are the ones we use, farm rich bread and mozzarella sticks. And I didn't know these came with the sauce, but that's okay. Um, I'm only eating like six today. Put it in the app fire. Push this and we're supposed to go oh, three, mm, 360. So we do, no, this one. Sorry, the temperature, the temperature one. Go 360 for 
I, I put him in for seven minutes last time yesterday. And seven minutes and then you hit that again and it goes. And I'll show you what they look like afterwards. So I use olive oil and garlic my, uh, marinara sauce. And I put it in here. And you have to continue to keep stirring until all of it bubbles. The entire thing is bubbling, not just a bubble here, a bubble there. But the entire thing when it's bubbling, that means it's done. But you gotta continue to stir it. Okay, so these are nice and toasty and done. Got my sauce done, my marinara sauce. Yummy! And then ta da! I should have made more, that's a little too less, but that's okay, I'll deal with it. Um, but yeah, yay! Yummy, yummy. I love these. 10 out of 10. The air fryer makes the um, mozzarella sticks taste so much better on a whole nother level. Anything you put in there. So we, I will also do a video for when we do sausages in the air fryer. But I used to, in my entire life, I used to hate mozzarella sticks because the cheese would make me gag. But after putting them in the air fryer, oh man, it's a whole new world. It's my new obsession. My new obsession and I've been eating these like crazy and been craving them. Like, I don't gag on them. It's like so much better in an air fryer. 20 out of 20,000. 20,000 out of 20,000. I love it. And then I've been drinking water and my strawberries and cream. Dr. Pepper. So, yay!